Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Good to see you. 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 Good to see yeah. I, I've never I've lived here 25 years, and I've never seen a tractor like this. I had a on a non holiday. Had a friend of mine that lived in Sandusky, and this is probably in three years ago or four. He had family come in from Texas, and he wanted to take them down to the harbor for dinner. Left his house there in Sandusky, and he said two hours later, I was finally able to turn around, come back, and give up because that wasn't even halfway there. Right. Well. I, I don't know why people keep coming back. I'm pretty it, well, I, you can't, I can't imagine it isn't going to have an impact. <clears throat> well, it is. And I work with several banks. A lot, of, a lot of those people have realized that the hottest real estate market and the fastest growing area now is Orange Beach. Perdido and Orange Beach, is, people just give up to go in that direction. Well, I think you're going to see it going the other way, east too, to like Appalachia, Mexico, East, yeah. yeah. It's just longer to get there for most people yeah. that are driving. But. We have to elect a new vice chair. I'm sorry? I think we have to elect a new vice chair. We do. No. I think we do. Not on the agenda. I believe uh, Scott uh, took a job for the county. He did. The county surveyor. Yeah, he did. And he, he was our vice chair. So. Sorry, you're the I was going to vote for you. <laughs> I, I'm serious. You've been here forever. No. I, 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 probably. Although I, I, think I, I think this is my third year. Yeah, I've been here like, I ain't sure one. You, you're right at one, I think. Probably you're close to one. one. Yeah. Oh, Give or take a little bit. Well, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I can't even imagine. Aside from you and Joe, I'd be the other, next oldest person here. I know, and I, hate, I really age, hate but losing but Scott and uh, yeah. Tony. Scott and Tony like boom, boom. Yeah, they would be our third vice chair in Lucky little over here. There you go. You coming back? We need you. Okay. <laughs> we're just, what, were you here, Bertie? We, we were just missing you. <laughs> you know, Scott resigned too, Tony. Oh, yeah. 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 He took a job with the county. Yeah. Well, surveyor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they were doing, huh? Oh, gosh. No, uh, I don't know why. You're There's just, a good reason, I'm sure. He had a meeting in Tallahassee. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, it was something like that. that oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I'm, you doing okay? Yeah, at least okay. I'm going to be the biggest. Yeah. 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 We'll catch up soon. So. Yeah. 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 Any chance you can come back to me? I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a while. I'm kind of glad to have a break. Yeah, I know. I, you and you and Scott, with your background, was just very, very valuable to this. Well, sure. Jeff, Jeff is joining y'all. He's here. Who? Yeah, Jeff is uh, uh, as well. So I know that he's going to be there. Thank you, well. Yeah. Uh, we'll catch up later. Y'all need to change the ordinance for this board. Change the what? The ordinance that establishes this board. Hmm? Really give him a lot of exposure. Give him what? No, we don't. Well, how'd you how'd your situation turn out? Okay. Is Joe familiar with that or aware? Of Sure, basically, I'm just set on just. You're right 
He's coming off, huh? He's been off. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Jeff Chip. Hey, Jeff. How you doing, man? Doing okay. How are you? Good. So we're missing. We're missing two, aren't we? You, you replaced uh, Tony, I thought. Tony, okay. okay. So whoever was replacing Scott probably hasn't been appointed yet. Right. And then uh, Joe should be here, and Philip Anderson is not coming, and I am here, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One's missing. Four gets a quorum, right? Four yeah. gets a quorum. Yeah, yeah we, we'll have a quorum. Okay. For sure. But we're yeah. missing. They usually let the applicant know that you know, they, want, right. they don't want to do it with this four. Somebody that was can go on. Mr. Chick? Yes, sir. Lamar Connerly. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. It's good to see you. I, I know a couple of chicks, and there can't be too many around, but uh, I know an Angela. I, I've met her on Facebook, but we are not related. He was in the <laughs> house or anything. And then there's another lady that worked for Sandusky. Sean, that's my wife. Sean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, she was at the Sandusky charity one. I was one of the founders of that. Yeah. And she was as well. Yeah. She was on our, like our second board, uh -huh. second year. And so she was great to work with. Oh, yeah. She's with uh, the Seaside uh, School. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Anyway, tell her I'm sitting there. Wine Foundation. My God, what that's turned into, you know? <laughs> that's a beast. No, no, and you know, there were just a group of us that got together and started it. And we just thought it'd be fun because it's wine to do. We'd waste some money. First year it was Medicare. And um, first year, we only had, we took it up. We only had about three months to get it ready to go. And we were just $80,000. Hey, that's pretty good money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, so we kept good. on and we kept on. And then, you know, after about the third year, it was bigger than we were. Are we still on it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's our 12th year, we've raised about $28 I'm on the board with them on Coast Children's Everything Center. They gave us 300000 last year, got some. We, we really did. You've seen it. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you, sir? Hi, Jeff Chick. Jeff? Yes, sir. Good to see you again. Hey, Yes, sir, you can. I, I was going to do that. Good to see you. I saw the question. Yeah. Carpenter, how are you doing? How are you all tonight? Nope. Is this all we have coming? Is this all? As far as I know. Across the street. Okay. 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 Good to see you. Still move over. Still move over. One bit over. It's a bump. Phil's not coming. Right, right. Move over. Don't be the other side of the gym. Yeah, Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Anyway. Yeah. I know where you are, Hop. I don't know if that's going to come up tonight.
voted already. Charlie's already attacked me. <laughs> I see Jeff doesn't know me, he doesn't know the other folks. Oh, do we? Do you guys come on? I know. We don't really have any. It's good that she had Dave there. Yeah. yeah, well, they can do that at the meeting. Then. So so that's, the meeting. that's what they did with Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it, Charles? Yeah, that's what yeah. we did. Yeah. How do you say your name? Jeff. Jeff. Thank you. Or Geoff. <laughs> I had a buddy up in Marietta. I eat his name. He spelled Jeff that way. And I yeah. always called him Geoff. <laughs> and he almost smacked me. Do you live in the North End? I do. We we have a farm up in the North Where's it at, Jeff? We're on T.R. Miller Road, oh, okay. which is up 185. Yeah. 183. Yeah. That's exactly where T.R. Miller Road is. What kind of farming? What kind of farming? Horses and hay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yep. We're at on T.R. Miller Road. I'm all the way down the back. All the way past Sarah Keith and them. Well, the immediate next door neighbor. On the left or the right? The big white got metal some. building on the, uh, on the right. On the right? Okay. he got some land that's going to save you. Yeah, <laughs> I do in fact. Connerly. Connerly. I'm filling it for Hayward. Where's Mr. Hayward? I don't know. <laughs> he just told me that um, about two weeks ago that he had a conflict and he had to be out of town doing something. Who's going to do the prayers? I'm not very good at it. Yeah, let me see. You want my first try? Yeah. <laughs> Bill, do you want it's to do it? It's called baptism. Bill, do you want to do it? I'm fine. Do you want to do it? I can do it. At this time, we will call the July 27th Walton County Zoning Board Adjustment Meeting to order. If you would, please stand as we have the invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Jeff, if you would, do the invocation for us, please. Dear Lord, please uh, bless this meeting and help us all make wise choices and do the right thing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you. Appreciate that. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's been March since I've been here, so it's going to take a little while. I can't get used to everything, but I do appreciate all the board members here tonight. We do have a new board member that has taken the place of Tony Valley. Is that correct? Correct. That's whose position you was taking is uh, Mr. Jeff Chick, and we appreciate you serving. Glad to be here. I'm sure that you will have any questions. Just let us know. Have you ever served on the board before? Not on this board. Okay. <laughs> well, good deal. Are there any announcements that need to be made? Well, uh, as we've announced once before, the last meeting, the four members here, I know we have an issue or two on the agenda with four members here, we'll have to have four permanent votes to make, take any action. We only have one item before us, don't we? I, I think that's all I see on the agenda. And obviously, uh, there's always the option for the proponent to uh, withdraw that issue if they want a full board or proceed on. We'd like to proceed. Sure. You don't know anything going on with any of our appeals? I do. We just got one set uh, today for September the 6th, and that's the Sunset Beach uh, issue. Which one is that? It's uh, Sunset Beach HOA versus ZBA and Elise HOA. Which one? Did you say? Which, uh, what's that about? Do you remember? It's a blanket here. <clears throat> LC um, subdivision and the, uh, the blanket variance for uh, so that they fell according to their original covenants. Or if I recall, yes. I think it was, this was on the agenda when I was here the last time. And if mm -hmm. I recall, it was a setback issue, and I forgot whether it was yes. the front or the side, but um, I know there was some. Subdivision. Yeah, it was a whole subdivision, and then the neighbors had a issue with that but anyway that that was sent up on appeal and that will be heard on september 6th i guess i did not know that one was on the appeal
our secretary, what's your name again? I'm Debbie. You're Debbie? Are we doing good for you? If you have any yeah, questions, <laughs> stop us and let us know. Anyone here tonight that is planning to speak before this board, if you would please stand, raise your right hand so you'd be sworn in that the testimony you give be the truth. <coughs> Mr. Carnally? Mr. Swear. Swear. You solemnly swear or affirm that you, the testimony that you give tonight will be the truth and only the truth and the entire truth, so if you got. We have one item on the agenda, I believe that provoke variance. If you would please come to the podium. State your name for the record. Scott Matthew Provo. Say that again. Scott Matthew Provo. This is for the parking variance. Yes, sir. Tell us why we should approve your variance. <clears throat> I'm here uh, applying for a variance uh, to comply with Section 9 of the Endangered Species Act, which I was notified of by the planning department. Uh, January 7th, they received a letter from the U.S. Department of the Interior, Fish and Wildlife, that um, I had homesteaded and had a house there, and I tore it down to rebuild. And I was then um, not denied the right to build, rebuild, but I was denied the right to start building. Um, at the time, the uh, planning and building department didn't have anything in place to um, address people who were adjacent to the state parks or near there. And Fish and Wildlife came in and said, um, Walton Keene County needs to see cease issuing building permits because they're not in compliance. My permit was out of planning, going to the building department on January 7th when they received a letter from the U.S. Department of Interior, it said, the service is offered to assist Walton County in better understanding the requirements of the Endangered Species Act, but thus far, no assistance has been requested. Walton County's current planning of uh, permitting of construction activities is of concern, particularly since we've tried to reach out to better inform the county of their obligations under federal law. Per our own federal requirements, we have now contacted our law enforcement office regarding the situation. Please indicate how you intend to remedy these issues and the future of your coastal permitting program to address Choctahatchee Beach Mouse impacts. Is that in our packet? Did you provide that? The, the, the letter is not. The letter is not in the packet. It's, it, this, is a, this was given to me by planning. Uh, Jason and planning gave me that letter. That's was from the Department of Interior? To Mr. Wayne Dias. And we don't have any, they don't, it's not in our packet? It's not in our back. It, a, a, it was not in the application part. This is just part of my, I was told I would give uh, uh, That's proof. the letter from the Department of Interior that says for you to cease and cease your building. No, this was a letter to the Walton County Planning Department to cease permitting. I think we need a copy of that in our packet. Yeah, I agree. We, okay. we well, definitely Walton, need it as part of your application. Walton County had. Uh, Could you give it to our, our to Vivian, would you go make us some copies, please? And if you want to wait till we get that done, because I like to see that. Okay. Can I give a little history of sure. the hardship that was created? In 1970, there was a group called the Friends of Grayton Beach that formed <clears throat> to try to get the area around Grayton Beach purchased by the state. In 1985, that in fact happened. The state had a, a, a very large land purchase, hundreds of thousands of acres, part of which included what was at the time <clears throat> in 1985 called Grayton Dunes State Park. I was in the military at the time, and I happened to take military leave because my mother-in-law headed up that group called the Friends of Grayton Beach. I stood out in the dunes of Grayton Beach in 1985 when it was dedicated by, at the time, Governor Graham, Earl Hutto, who was a congressman for the district, was there, never knowing that eight years later, I'd be given the opportunity to buy a piece of property on the very dunes that my mother-in-law had helped, had worked for for 13 years. I serve on the board of the Great Beach Neighborhood Association. We've been homes, we have homesteaded this property. Uh, there's a long legacy in my wife's family of the area in Grayton Beach. So in 2015, um, 
Brayton Beach, as you know, has the Red Bar, Charingas, Zoo Gallery. It's very congested. There's a limited amount of parking. So um, the Great Beach Neighborhood Association <clears throat> formed a committee to try to see if we could, in fact, get enough support for an overlay neighborhood plan for Grayton Beach. We were successful in doing that in 2015. In part, and I'm a very strong proponent of the neighborhood plan. I was part of that group. In that neighborhood plan, we put an overlay parking requirement that you won't find anywhere else in Walton County. Walton County's parking requirements, and that's why I'm here for the variance, Walton County's parking variance by the code is if you apply for a three bedroom house, you only need, need two parking spaces. If you increase your bedrooms, you need one parking spot per bedroom. So my house, if it were in Walton County outside Grayton Beach, I have a seven bedroom house, it would only need six parking spots. Two for the first three bedrooms, and I have four more bedrooms, so four plus two is six. Under our, the reason we put this parking overlay in Grayton Beach, we're pretty protective of Grayton Beach, and people park all over the right of way, all over our lawns. So we said, look, there's so much fraud being committed, people are buying it at vacant lots, they're permitting a three bedroom house with two parking spots. And then after the fact, finishing off the three dens that had a bathroom attached to them, and we ended up with a six bedroom house, five baths with two parking spots. So to bring us all together, we said let's, in our neighborhood plan, put a separate parking ordinance part of it and said let's do it by square footage. So our square footage is pretty onerous. If you're gonna build a big rental house, you're gonna to have to have the parking for it. And it's in, that, that is in your packet, but it's 1,500 square feet, you need two spots. Every 500 square feet above 1,500, up to 4,500, you need one additional parking spot. Every 500 feet above 4,500, if you're gonna build a monster rental house, you need two more parking spots per 500 feet. I'm in the neighborhood, uh, I, I'm under the neighborhood plan, and that's why I'm here, because I have a 6,000 square foot, seven bedroom house, that I'm homesteading. I don't plan on living. I, I, leaving. I have a handicap ramp and an elevator. I'll be carried out feet first. But I have to have 14 parking spots. So when Fish and Wildlife walked my lot and looked at my site plan that required 14 parking spots, it was in direct conflict with the Endangered Species Act that they're trying to enforce federally. I'm having to hire a landscape architect and make sure all the indigenous planning around my lot complies with their law. And I can't park bicycles, can't have Yola boards, can't have boogie boards anywhere around my lot. It's, I'm having to, the, the specific hardship is I have to have a comprehensive enhancement plan filed with the county of what I'm gonna do around my lot because it's, it's part of the building process. I'm not being denied the opportunity to build or rebuild. I just have to comply with other rules that other people don't have to comply with. So. Um, I have the room for the 14 parking spots, but they would rather it be landscaped with indigenous plants, sea oats, that the Choctatchee Beach Mouse feeds on. And um, so that's kind of the history of the overlay of why I'm here in the first place. Whenever you say that they'd rather have it planted, you know, for the beach plants, you say they don't want you to use those 14 spots? No. I didn't say that. They, they ask us, do we want 14 parking spots? And I said, no. I said, it's just me and my wife. We have three children. One lives on Eastern Lake and two live in Washington, D.C. Uh, I said, I think seven would be more than enough, which is one more than what I would be required if I was anywhere else in the county. And she said, good, because I want you to landscape all these ones and I'm going to help you. Now you're talking about the planning department, or you're talking about Walton County, you're talking, who are you talking about that's approving you to go from 14 to seven? I was asked by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to reduce my parking okay. because it was in direct conflict with section nine of the okay. Endangered Species Act. Okay. And she said, would you please not put 14 spots in? because that's in direct conflict with okay. the law 
that I'm federally advising you of to comply with to get your building permit. Scott, uh, my name is Jeff. I, I'm an architect. I, I know your architect very well, and I have some empathy for what you're going through because I also do quite a bit of Gulf Front construction, and I've, I've run into this problem on a number of our projects. So I, I know what you're struggling with. I, I noticed uh, in the photos in our packet that the lot had been cleared from pin to pin so that there was no indigenous vegetation left on the site before you started going vertical with the structure. And I heard that you were uh, held up with your building permit until Fish and Wildlife approved the project to move forward. And I'm just curious, what did they make you uh, sign enable for, to enable you to move forward? Did you hire wetland sciences to do a, an enhancement plan? No, and uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife is with us tonight and will follow me. What was required was Walton County to understand how to comply with the law, and that's what held me up because they had... So how we got over this, what did I do? I was stuck. The county had never been to any workshops. They had never answered anything the federal government advised them to do, and I understand it from the county perspective also that requires increased staffing. It requires money. It requires ordinances that they don't have. And they didn't know how to go forward. This was the first time it had ever happened. So, and so what happened is I got the county attorney, I got the head of planning, Wayne Dias, I got every single planner, I got the turtleite shorebird uh, lady, Melinda Gates, I hired an attorney, I got a landscape architect, I got my architect, as you know, Tom Christ, I got every stakeholder I could and the property owners around me and we went on site and tried to figure out how do we move forward because I tore my house down and was held up in planning by this letter. I had moved out to start construction and I was stuck and the county didn't know what to do. So I had to start the process of just let's just communicate and see how we can get over it because it is harming me. It is a hardship. Mm -hmm. I was out of that for four months before Fish and Wildlife and the county finally resolved to, okay, it hit all the papers here in January when yep. it stopped. And what happened was Fish and Wildlife then got with the county, drew up new beach mouses, mouse maps. They, they got an affidavit that every single, when you go to apply for a building permit now, you have to sign an affidavit that if you're in Beach Mouse Tier 1, you'll contact the Fish and Wildlife or you take your chances and you get it notarized. So you, you, the onus is on you now mm -hmm. because Fish and Wildlife can't oversee every permit. The county can't. Uh, the problem is there's just not enough staffing. And so I like the way Fish and Wildlife has at least engaged. They came to the Great and Beach Neighborhood Association at our annual meeting and sat there and got up and said, look, um, we're not here to create another layer of government. We're trying to educate you that there are issues here that nobody even knows about. And the easier way to do it is, is build a consensus and get buy-in than halt everything. What, so did that's they, how what did they say and to, that enabled you to move forward? She said, I will tell the county to issue you a building permit but I'm going to staple on an addendum to your building permit that says you have to comply with all the federal government regulations that I tell you you have to before you get a CO. So that's what I'm under right now. I'm building with an, uh, an amendment to my building plan, and it's not onerous. It is that I will revegetate, which I would anyway, in accordance with their wishes. And that's really because... <sighs> My lot was a little bit different. If it was a vacant lot, it would be different because then you're taking the beach mouse habitat, which happened in this letter. If you have the letter, you can see the three instances that set this on fire with fish and wildlife. Mm -hmm. I had a house there. I had lived there for 22 years and homesteaded. The impact, the increased impact I had was almost negligible square footage, but I was rebuilding. And um, if it had been a vacant lot, it would have been a whole different thing because then I would be taking habitat away. As it was, 
I cleared the lot <coughs> to rebuild and I will revegetate. So you're going to, to, to their let's, stand. Let's, what I'd like to do here is get on to the issue before us. And the issue before us is the variance request. So what is your variance request? My variance request is to go from 14 to 7, as was requested by the Department of the Interior to reduce my parking. Okay. To comply with the section and, nine. And you have the plan and et cetera and all that's ready. They're in your packet. There's the the site plan has the fourteen that I have right. noted and then I have it down to the seven that are there. Okay. Let's listen to anyone else like to speak. We give you the opportunity to come back before the board before we close the discussion, okay? Yes, sir. Are there anyone else here like to speak on this? State your name for the record, then you and you sworn in. Is that correct? Yes. My name is Christy Yanchis. I'm with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I'm the uh, Beach Moss Chris, Recovery Biologist. Christy, what's your last name? Christy Yanchis, Y-A-N-C-H-I-S. Christy with a K and I. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, so uh, yes, I. Um, Mr. Provo's house was one of the few that did get caught up in the um, the middle of the the speech must issue with with Walton County, and he's been working with us great from the beginning. Um, but as he said, you know, we didn't want to stop his construction, and I still haven't even completed all his review on his his project. But he has actually submitted us a conservation enhancement plan, which I need to in turn give him a letter, and it outlines how he has um, avoided. Uh, minimized and mitigated for his impacts to beach mouse habitat. So once I review that and give it back to him, he will have a document that he then can take to Walton County to get his CO and have that um, recorded with the county. Um, but before that, he's been we've been working together. He asked me whenever he has any questions or thing. I was there. I helped him stake out his lot. Um, but we did come on after the house had been torn down and it had been cleared, so there, there was no. No way to stop that from happening because it, it just the timing of it fell through he didn't know it wasn't his fault um but he's been more than willing to do what he can to make it right you, you're um, in agreement with his various requests you support it yes 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 See, when he told me it was 14 spaces needed you know and here i was asking him to restore he was saying plant with native plants but we call it restoration so restoring back his lot that he has not impacted so we're good you're good right yes do you have yeah. any questions for him <laughs> Well, so I'm assuming that that would you would be replanting with native vegetation around the three sides of the building where all the parking was scheduled. Right, to go. everything that's remaining on his lot, other than his house and his driveway, and is an extra parking spot there. Anyone else have any questions? And then probably you know signing it to do so, so everyone is aware he doesn't have people parking on it and stuff. Also, thank you very much. So, thank all right, you. thanks. How about staff, Vivian? Yeah, good evening. Um, Actually, what they're asking for is a variance to the to the um, the department. parking requirements in Chapter Five of um, uh, the, the Great and Beach has a separate had a separate ordinance that's embedded into. Chapter Five of the Land Development Code, and they have different parking requirements than the rest of the county. The county recognizes that in the Great Beach. The county yes, it is in page. Um, let's see. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, and it's it's different. It's it's based on square footage uh, instead of bedrooms, and so uh, that's where they got to the fourteen spaces that they would need um but then i guess when the the beach mouse um uh came up then they were they they had the ability to put the 14 parking spaces in but had to reduce it because of the impacts of the beach mouse um it does meet the standard walton county parking chart which would require seven parking spaces so uh, that is where they are. Do you have no problem with it? Well, no. Um, I think we need to save the beach mice. Well, de cat. Defi definitely. <laughs> um, their location, they are right there at the um, by the dunes and everything. Um, 
I just think that they you know, needed to prove their hardship and, and explain it to you them, themselves as to why, um, why it was a hardship. I think he definitely has that. a hardship. I sure do. Any questions for David? Yeah. Charlie? Yeah, my only question was yeah I, I didn't care for the design of the seven spaces <laughs> that they provided. I, th I think it still encroaches on the beach mouse habitat. And I think that there's a, a better way to design the 20 foot uh, adjacent to the street where I guess it's Lupine Road that you could you could have more parking with less impact if you if you redesign that. So uh, are you talking to like Vivian or who are you talking to? Would you to? like them to come back up and, well, I, and discuss it? Well, I was just going to suggest to Scott that it looks like there's well, the wait, potential. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <clears throat> we, we, we're going to listen to Vivian and we're going to give Mr. Provo a chance to come back. Okay. And then you can talk to him. Yes, but sir. we got to finish up with Vivian. Okay. Any, well, I, has anything for I, Vivian? I would just ask, what is staff's recommendation? Um, well, basically that I think, you know, sometimes you need to make adjustments to uh, things embedded in the land development code and uh, proven hardship is um, a basis for uh, recommendation based on the evidence that they provide. So, well, I'm just, um, I'm partial to supporting the staff's recommendations, generally speaking, so that's the reason I asked that. Thank you. I usually vote uh, I mean, against them. <laughs> I would like say that their, oh, their, their house was already, the planning was already done. They'd already demolished their house when this came up. So that's all, that's what I can provide to it. And also it is a, a variance from the, um, the uh, Grayton Beach parking standards and also the Grayton Beach neighborhood plan, which references those standards. So. Thank you very much. Come, Mr. Provo, come back before the board. Do you have anything to say? Anything to add? I think I've tried to comply with the federal government's request, which it's, um, I'm a homeowner. I'm trying to do whatever I can to build my house. I think you did. It's a, the, I think one of the major points is this is a homesteaded property with me and my wife. This is not a rental. It has never been for 22 years, you're, nor will it be. You're doing good. Yep. Anything else you want to add? I mean, no, sir. I'll, I'll listen I, to. I, I I feel that the uh, the house is pretty far away from the congestion of the restaurant area, and and, and that that was the origin of needing the additional parking where these Correct. big monster rental houses were. Correct. Spilling out into the street and causing the problems. I, I don't see this house ever having those problems. The, the seven parking space plan that was submitted appears that there's just a better way that you could design that to minimize the impact to the beach mouse and and not have the, the cars double stacked on either side and make better use of the, the curb cut. The reason that that is like that, if you look at the two on the south side mm -hmm. i'm one of the 15 licensed charter captains here in walton county mm -hmm. it's for a boat i have a boat yeah and so i i don't want my boat sitting on the street and so that's why the two are on the south side i totally agree i would rather not have those but i can't leave my boat sit on the street sure. so those two parking spots where i back up my boat and my truck are critical the other one at the at, at lupine is the two there is si simply going to be a circular in and out and the one in front of my garage will probably never be used but i have room shown there that there's easy seven sure. i can easily have more too but i'm trying to minimize the parking for the very reason i'm applying for the variance right. so i can vegetate and the other thing is the parking between the house we're working on it we're going to try to use that. Um, it's a honeycomb that you stretch out, you fill with gravel, and you pack over, and it's hard packed. Mm -hmm. So you can vegetate over it and still, it, it's not like it's cement or it's right. not pavers. We're trying to minimize the impact on the hardscape. Okay. Very good. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Close the public discussion. Motion to close. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Should get that. We all voted.
Is it? Sorry did about you that. Go? I, okay. We did were you slow go? down. <laughs> I got it. I was told to slow down. <laughs> okay. Motion? Motion to approve. Bill Fletcher made a motion to approve. Second. Charlie's made a second the motion. We'll start with discussion. Jeff? I think that this is not an is issue of the lot not having the potential for 14 spaces. It certainly does. And that um, I would move to uh, approve the variance based on the special circumstances. Bill Fletcher? I just commend uh, Mr. Provo for, for how he's handled this. I'm very much in favor. I agree, Charlie. Same. We have motions to approve. Second. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shut that. No, I, 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 I said I was. I basically agree. I mean, I think it's. He was kind of blindsided when the little church mouse thing came up. He had already tore his house down. What did I say? Church mouse. A little crazy. I get it right. At any rate, whichever kind of mouse. Um, I, I think he's definitely got a hardship. Uh, he seems like he's trying to do the right thing. I think seven spots probably be enough for him anyway. I'm, I'm good with it. We have a motion to approve and a second. Charlie, how you vote? Vote. Approve aye. 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 You good? Got it. Your parents' uh, request has been approved. The attorney should have it to me within 90 days, and I sign it, and you can continue. How about that? Thank you very much. I was joking. 15 <laughs> days, we should have <laughs> <laughs> He has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> Any other business? Anything else we want to discuss? Minutes? Yeah, we got I wouldn't, you and I were not at that meeting. We didn't vote on it. I wasn't at that meeting either. No. <laughs> we, <laughs> nor was I. <laughs> well, I was here. You certainly can. There's no need to have to do them tonight. There's no, no need, need to do it. You can you certainly do it the next one. Well, do I need a motion to continue the minutes? Of the I'll, next make, I'll make that motion yeah. to extend. He can be an announcement or you can make the motion to continue it to the next one. I think as chairman, he can just, he can just continue it. Right. Nine like four of you who attended the last meeting, and there's we'll, approval of the minutes will wait till the next meeting. Approval of the minutes will wait till the next meeting. Okay. No other. Any, you had, you want to discuss anything before we leave? I'm good. You're good. <laughs> Everybody else. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh boy, this is better than the last one I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half hours. You might come back. Well, all right. We need or before midnight. Right now, or are we supposed to like, <laughs> I, I get put that into the record? Yeah. Uh, letter. Letter. Well, it's a moot point now, I guess. But. We had that.